Am I the asshole? For telling my friend with kids that I'm glad the village doesn't exist anymore? I have a friend Bella who is late twenties and has a toddler and a baby. She constantly bemoans the fact that the village doesn't exist anymore and people aren't helping her and her partner with their baby the way they used to in past generations and how selfish it is and how terrible this is society now. She's really bitter her mother won't retire and babysit the kids for free, but her mother is only in her mid-fifties and can't afford to retire yet. She constantly complains she can't travel or enjoy her life anymore because she doesn't have a village. After years of this, I told her I'm actually really glad we have moved away from that because the village that parents romanticize was actually the unpaid labor of women, and as a woman who doesn't want a child, I'm glad that I'm no longer considered socially obligated to babysit other people's kids for free or do household chores for people who chose to have kids in my free time, especially because these people won't pay it forward to me in any way, and if something happened to me, like getting really sick and needing help they'd use their kids as a reason they can't help me. I also reminded her that the village depended on women not having jobs and it is a good thing that women can now sustain themselves and aren't forced into dependency on their fathers or husbands. The thing that triggered it was that I went overseas recently for a holiday and to attend a concert of an artist I really like and she complained about how she doesn't get to, to these things because the village is off doing things like that. She said I'm just a really selfish child-free person who wants mothers to suffer, but I don't think I was wrong, and then she said I was a bad feminist and a terrible person and hasn't spoken to me since. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. So many things from caring for the sick disabled, community projects, to helping raise children was unpaid women's labors that relied on us not being able to work. Yes. It's unfair now that women are expected to work and raise children unless the men are doing an equal share. But in this case it just sounds like your friend wasn't ready for the responsibility of a child. Not the asshole. The village is supposed to be a support system people helping people. It is not expecting other people to babysit for free or shoulder the parenting of your kids so you can go on trips and enjoy life. Sounds like she probably shouldn't have had kids. Not the asshole. She admitted that she's mad because you're enjoying your life instead of sacrificing yourself to make her life better, all while receiving nothing in return. And she feels so, so sorry for herself because of that. She said I'm just a really selfish child-free person who wants mothers to suffer. She chose to interpret what you said in the worst way possible. That's her mental gymnastics to navigate. Don't get caught up in her BS. Not the asshole and I agree with you. Yikes. Your friend just called parenting suffering. Why did she have kids in the first place if this was too much for her? Not the asshole. You are 100 right. When you have a kid, it's nice if you have help. But you should never rely on other people to raise your child in your place while you travel and enjoy a life. Not the asshole. Furthermore, what she is saying is historically incorrect. While it is true that in the past a village helped with children, things were such because such help was needed to survive, not in order to allow parents to take a break or relax, let alone travel as she states in no way that happened. Not the asshole the village did not necessarily even exist universally. There was cases where parents had the support of their family and friends, but there were plenty who didn't. It reminds me of people who romanticize notable, but not universal, elements of the post-war period because they feel entitled to it as OJKA American Dream where everyone had a family house, two cars, 2.5 kids, one one income sure, there was the rise of suburbanization, but there were still cities, the poor, and variety of circumstances. The village is metaphorical and you have to make your own. My friends waited to become parents in their late 30s and early 40s so everyone in our friend group has settled down in a sense. I'm not married but I have two cats so I can't just dart off to Europe. We help my friends with their kids because we want to. There are nephews. Sounds like you guys aren't compatible as friends anymore. 
She doesn't get to to these things because the village is off doing things like that traveling and going to concerts. She doesn't get to do those things because she chose to have kids when she was not ready for the change in lifestyle that it implies. Not the asshole. And I say chose because they are too, and if you are having an accident twice in my opinion you are actively choosing to have that accident. I dunno, I'm leaning not the asshole since I think she was out of line to call you a bad feminist. But seems kind of like maybe you guys weren't very suited to be friends now that you're both so different. I don't think her complaints about the lack of a perceived support network were really an anthropological argument that needed your rebuttal, but I get why it could frustrate you after a while. I'm child free and still wish things were different for parents these days, but hey. Bad feminist, that's a good one. Nope, you are not the asshole. If your friend wanted the benefits of a village she should have helped build one before she got pregnant the first time. But I'm guessing that she did not go out of her way to help parents before she became a parent herself, so it's kinda on her, when you think about it. Info what does did she do for the village? This post feels like a debate set up. I really hate how this village proverb is used by parents nowadays because they understand it as a complete one-way street. Village help with my kids, but my kids and me don't owe anyone anything. That's not the village model. Social obligation goes both ways. And with its social control and all the not so great things about close-knit communities. Edit not the asshole. Did she chat with the village elders first? Not the asshole. Ask her how many other people's villages she's offered to be a part of. Sounds like she wants everyone else's help when it suits, but has she offered any so that other mothers can do all the things she's complaining about missing out on? Not the asshole I'm sick of modern parents crying about the village, when they really mean unpaid babysitters so they can go out. I mean, if she wants a village she can make a village with other parents, not complain about people without children not participating in a collective in which they'd only give without benefiting. LOL, you're a bad feminist because you're not properly conforming to gender expectations not the asshole. ESH. It's hard parenting with no support. You also shouldn't be expected to be a support. The emphasis on individualism over community and collectivism is still garbage though. Not the asshole. You articulated how a lot of single women feel when they hear their friends with partners and kids bemoaning how life's not fair because they can't have it both ways. There are pros and cons to each lifestyle, and you make the best of the one you find yourself in. People who have never had to stand alone on their own two feet whine like this a lot I find. It sounds as if your friend is entitled and wants help for free so she can pursue her life without the restrictions being a parent has associated with it. Not the asshole. I'm a single parent who raised kids 3000 miles away from my family. You know what I did? Created my own village, joined a parenting group, got involved with other parents and families so we could help each other. Paid for babysitters. The concept of a village isn't getting people to do it for you it's mutual support. Maybe she doesn't have a village because she has nothing to offer in return, woman shrugging, 